What's up everybody? Welcome back to Gump Nation with your boy Kangaroo Black. Coming back once again to talk about not my Alabama Crimson Tide, but those Georgia Bulldogs. They can't seem to get right down there in Athens. You know they got a, 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 a transfer running back from Florida, Trevor Etienne. And guess what? He's fitting right in with those Georgia Bulldogs. Once again, another reckless driving and DUI charge. I mean, it is crazy. They just can't seem to get right. And the reason why this continues to happen is because Kirby Smart and his staff, AD, president of the university, ain't doing nothing about it. They ain't making an example out of nobody. This has been an ongoing problem ever since Kirby Smart took over the Georgia Bulldogs. Maybe they don't see it as a problem. Because it happens so often. But let's go ahead and get into the video and get to the damn article. And this article is from Dog Nation. Okay. Anyway, Georgia running back Trevor Etienne was, ETN was arrested Sunday morning on four charges. The charges are DUI, reckless driving, failure to maintain lane, improper driving on road, and affixing materials that reduce visibility on windows, windshield, per athens Clark County jail laws. That last one, I believe, that's maybe a tent or whatever. But anyway, DUI is a problem. Reckless driving is a problem. And failure to maintain lane. Mm, 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 mm. It is what it is, baby. That's what they do. Dying there in Athens. Ain't no examples being made. Don't nobody want to take charge and put this uh, issue to a halt. They just want to, want to let it go on. As long as they winning, that's their motto. Just win at all costs. And, and in the past, there's only been a couple of players to sit out a game. No matter what the traffic violation is. And I'm talking about reckless driving, DUIs. And I'm talking about when I say reckless driving, they going 30 and 40 miles per hour over the speed limit. Anything over 15 miles per hour is considered reckless driving. But hey, that's what they do in Athens. We are fixing. But anyway, ETN was booked at 4.35 a.m. and released on bond at 5.27 a.m. His, his bond was uh, $1,838. Full police report has not been released at the time of this article, okay? Uh, but anyway, it is what it is, man. This is the first arrest this offseason for the Georgia Bulldogs football program. That's a surprise. The Bulldogs had a number of driving-related arrests last offseason with Jameis Dumas Johnson, Jalen Carter, uh, uh, Marcus Roseman, Jack Saint, and Denylon Marset. Georgia staffer Jarvis Jones was also arrested on reckless driving charges in 2023. Hey, they just following the leader. <laughs> Guess what? Y'all remember when uh, when uh, Pete Golden got that DUI at Alabama? Hey, nobody followed his lead. Cause get what? They didn't consider him a leader. <laughs> we let him go on his own and do what he do. But anyway, these these young guys, they just following the leader. Anyway, uh, we ain't going to get into the uh, Devin Whitlock and Chandler LaCroix story. We all know what happened there all right, or what we read about. We don't know exactly what happens. But anyway, Georgia opens up the 2024 season against Clemson, and the arrest does cast some doubt into ETN's availability for the game during the 2022 season. Javon Bullock was arrested for G DUI, and he missed the team's game against Missouri. It was the long game Bullock missed that season. I think for DUI, driving under an influence, you should miss more than one game, but that's just my opinion. But uh, the way they do things down there in Athens, I'm surprised he missed that one game. That's just me. So, hey. Kirby Smart, y'all better make an example out of somebody. It might take one or two, but you better make an example out of somebody because this is that's the only way that this behavior is going to stop. 
y'all are tolerating the behavior. Y'all, Kirby Smart, his staff, AD, and the rest of them. Anybody that got anything to do with the Georgia Bulldog football program, they are enablers. Because they are enabling this behavior by not stepping up and doing something about it. You suspend them one game, that's not enough. Suspend them one game, pay a fine, whatever. <laughs> that ain't enough. You better suspend them half the damn season, three or four games. They'll suspend them indefinitely. But then indefinitely, that's only till you need them again. So, hey, you get a DUI, driving under influence, driving while impaired, whatever it is, five games, automatic. I guarantee you. It'll put a halt to it or it'll slow it down. i just say that. So, let's go uh, back in the past a little bit for those Georgia Bulldogs. Because, uh, you know, I'm always looking for something to back up my little videos, some facts. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, let's see if I can find this. But since Kirby Smart has uh, been at the helm of the Georgia Bulldog program, it has been ridiculous. So, but uh, here we go. Uh, during Smart's time as a head coach, I ain't going to get into all this. He's saying when about 350 athletes comprised of his rosters. Now, that, that that's from the time he started up until 2023. But anyway, because this article was wrote in 2023. Uh, Georgia players with traffic offenses nearly 300 times. Now, a lot of those was minor violations. But at least 60 times, players were caught driving 20 miles per hour or more over the speed limit. That is reckless driving. They exceeded the limit more than 30 miles per hour on 14 of these instances and by 40 miles per hour on more than seven of those incidents. Three players broke the 100 mile per hour mark on the street where the speed limit was 35. Why in the hell you need to be going 100 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour uh, zone? That is crazy. Even in a 55, that's crazy. But anyway, and I guarantee you them, and it's 35 miles per hour, so you know they in the city limits. Why? Why? But, George Bulldogs, we'll fix it. But anyway, it is what it is. And that's, and, uh, that's what Kirby at the helm. You really didn't start hearing about all this until Kirby took over. But what? Let, but let Georgia's players tell it. They just want to tarnish Kirby's name. It's only because it's Kirby. No, it's not because it's Kirby. Oh, it's because he's letting them get away unpunished. But anyway, uh, let's talk about this. In April, two residents of a historic district near downtown complained about a charger whose driver repeatedly spun out of their their street, squealing tires and loudly revving the engine uh, morning and night. The police also traced the car to Michael Williams, a defensive lineman who lived nearby, and warned the athlete he might be arrested if his reckless driving continued. <laughs> But anyway, Kenny McIntosh, Charger, kept rolling down the street despite losing a driver's side front wheel after striking a, an Uber driver. They got her name ain't going into all that. He told police he was driving 60 miles per hour on a narrow two-lane road. The speed limit was 40 miles per hour. Again, reckless driving. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. But anyway, the female, she, she wound up going to the hospital or whatever. Um, so... Anyway, uh, the difference shown to football players may contribute to their recklessness. Traffic tickets, arrests, warnings, and collisions seem to have little effect as deterrence. I'm telling you, traffic tickets ain't, do, do, ain't gonna do nothing. They get arrested, they post bail right away. So hey, I mean, it's like, and I can guarantee you, they ain't the one. The players are not the one posting their own bail. I can guarantee you they ain't paying these tickets. In my opinion, the school is paying it. Or money from the athletic department is used to be to pay all of these fines. Guarantee. But anyway, <laughs> running back, Kilner Milton, for example, has been cited at least five times since enrolling 
in 2020, 2020. He enrolled at Georgia in 2020. In 2022 alone, the police stopped him three times, once for improper driving, once for going 92 miles per hour, and another time for going 84 miles per hour. Both speeding citations were in a 65 mile per hour zone. Once again, reckless driving, 92 in a 65. 84 in a 65. Two incidents of reckless driving. <laughs> Uh, in 2023, officer ticketed Milton for speeding in a separate accident. Uh, they questioned him after a resident of the Athens apartment complex complained about several cars burning rubber in the parking lot early that morning. Then, linebacker Nolan Smith also received five speeding tickets, re speeding related tickets between 2019 and 2022. While in just two years, defensive back Javon Bullitt was cited three times, once for speed, uh, one for causing a minor crash, and once for driving under the influence. He got suspended for one game. Once again, DUI should be an automatic five-game suspension that occurred some of this behavior. Running back James Cook remained on the field despite the two uh, serious violations. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. But anyway, uh, now, let's just talk about James Cook. But he remained on the field despite two serious violations. Uh, the Athens police arrested Cook in December 2019 for having an open container of Hennessy cognac in his car and for driving without a valid license. The officer pulled him over and smelled what he suspected was marijuana, but Cook said he had none in his car because he smoked it all. He damn right. He under the influence of marijuana too. Anyway, uh, school policy calls for at least one game suspension for marijuana use. But Kirby Smart kept Cook in the lineup for the season finale game, the Sugar Bowl. <laughs> Smart said at the time that Cook had passed a drug test administered by Georgia Athletic Department. You damn right. If the Athletic Department uh administered the test, you know he's going to pass it. He ain't going to have nothing in the system, even if he do got something in the system. You going to believe that? Or are you freaking crazy? But anyway, Kirby Smart, we'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, uh, early one morning, about seven months after that incident, in July 2020, Cook was driving a borrowed pickup truck near downtown Athens when he plowed into a small parking lot. He struck five unoccupied cars, but somehow walked away unhurt. <laughs> you, maybe he was, maybe he fell asleep. I don't know. But what if something was in those cars? Or you know, somebody was in those cars and he hurt them, or possibly took their life. Come on, man. But anyway, when and then when it's say like early one morning, usually that's like two, three, four in the morning, possibly leaving the club. But anyway, we'll fix it. That's the motto. We'll fix it, and we win at all costs. But anyway, <laughs> but when police arrived, Cook said the truck's brakes had failed. Video from the surveillance camera told a different story. Moments before the crash, Cook drove greatly in excess of the posted speed limit as fast as 85 miles per hour, a police commander said in an email to his superior. At one point, Cook crossed the center line, narrowly missing a vehicle approaching from a separate direction. That could have caused both of them lives, James, two lives, James Cook and the person driving the other car. That shit happens around here all the time. And 99% of the time, somebody wind up losing their life. But guess what? To Kirby Smart and his staff, that's okay. We'll fix it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, as with this early arrest, the incident had no apparent effect on Cook's standing with the football program. Remember this happened in 2020. And he set out just one regular season game in 2020. And that's because he was injured. Not because of his behavior, but because he was injured. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, y'all, y'all get what I'm talking about. They got they go on to talk about Keely Ringo driving 91 in a 65 miles per hour zone. Uh and then they let him go. And then six days later, Kilo Ringo got stopped again on the same road going 94. Mm. 
<clears throat> so he got stopped going nine and one. And then six days later, he got arrested in this, on the same road by the same car going 94. Nothing happened. Ah, reckless driving. Once again, then they go on to talk about uh, 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 Jalen Carter. When he was driving nearly twice the speed limit, going 89 and a 45. <laughs> and all he got was a ticket and a talking to from the daggone, uh, from the daggone, uh, the officer that stopped him. And then uh, earlier, earlier that day, he stopped uh, two of Jalen Carter's teammates. Mm, mm, mm. Who was it? Darnell Washington and, and, and Dylan Fairchild. He stopped them too. And guess what he told Jalen Carter? To talk to his teammates. Out of all people, you want Jalen Carter to talk to somebody? <laughs> That's the wrong one. Anyway, especially when you didn't stop him. Oh my God, I done stopped two of your teammates now I'm stopping you and I'm telling you to talk to them. You doing the same thing they doing. That is, that is crazy. But anyway, but uh Georgia, they got a they got a they got a babysitter. They got somebody to cover all this up. He worked with law enforcement. Well, he's on the Georgia staff, but he worked closely with the law enforcement uh and the courts, okay? And he makes sure this stuff gets swept under the rug. The best he can. And he goes by the name of Brian Gant. If he's still there. Because this article was written in 2023. I'm reading off of. But I'm telling you. Brian Gant doing a damn good job. Because he getting these guys out of everything. With little to no punishment. From the court system. So hey. Maybe. Maybe some of these. People get paid off from the. From the athletic department. I don't know. I ain't making no assumptions, but just maybe. <laughs> anyway, even in, in one of the cases with James Cook, he didn't even show up on the damn court date. Gant to the rescue, he got him out of that too. <laughs> but hey, man, well, like I say, uh, anyway, let, let's talk about one more. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Jalen Carter, Jameis Dubin Johnson, and Jackson Meeks had passed due infractions. At least one was uh, in danger of his driver's license suspended. Gant made arrangements to deliver cash to the clerk's office and pay off the fines. None of the players lost their license and their cases were closed without having to appear in court. Yep, just, just another one, man. I tell you, don't worry about it. We got it. We gonna fix it. We gonna fix it. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! Dylan Marsh said another wide receiver was driving his Dodge Charger uh, at 3:30 a.m. May 8th when he rear-ended another car. And an officer reported that he smelled marijuana in Marset's car and noticed uh, his bloodshot eyes. The officer arrested Marset on charges of driving under the influence of drugs, following too closely and driving too fast for conditions. Weeks earlier, another police officer stopped Marcel for driving 81 in a 45 mile per hour zone. Like Carter, the previous September, Marcel got a lecture with a ticket. <laughs> Man, this is a long article. But well, anyway, I ain't gonna go through all of it, but I done went through most of it. But anyway, like I said, until, until Kirby Smart Make an example out of somebody. This is going to keep uh, happening. Kirby Smart, well, first of all, these officers in the court system need to hold these players accountable just like they would hold any other citizen accountable. And then it go, it should go to Kirby Smart, and he should hold them accountable. Let their, let their other teammates say that we ain't finna play, continue to play this shit. And we're going to make an example out of him or whoever it is. So that'll deter the next person from doing the same thing. Shit like that work. Kirby Smart, you ought to try it. But anyway, ultimately, Kirby Smart, he's the face of the program. He's the head coach. And everything falls back on him. And uh, you're damn right. I'm blaming Kirby Smart. Nobody else. Roll damn tide.